hi again welcome to my channel real talk with auntie o um so as i've said in my in the title um it's a valid goal if all you plan to do in 2021 is to survive to get through it at least for the first half of the year if all you plan to do is to survive it that is valid don't let anyone shame you um we are all going through this in so many different ways some people will not be affected that's life some people still have their jobs people are getting jobs getting promoted getting new businesses making millions in this pandemic and you'd always hear that you know pandemics like this disasters create opportunities for people that's a reality but for the majority of people or let's say the other half, let's let's not be too grim with it. For the majority of people, they actually go through this in a bad way. They are impacted. And as you and I know, some people, all they are praying to do right now is to just survive. Right? So, oh, people have lost jobs, lost homes, lost, lost loved ones. And at this point, you know, I mean you go to a hospital and someone is struggling for breath just to breathe i mean what what is the use of all the goals that they made you know all the plans the checklists i've got to do this i've got to you know meet this target and that target if they cannot breathe if they are not guaranteed of their next unassisted breath so it's okay to be on a ventilator on some oxygen machine of some sort but the system needs to be able to get back to that point where you can take effective breaths and, and stay alive and keep yourself alive for you to be able to achieve, you know, and the rest of the goals and everything else. So it's a valid goal. I'm not even talking about illness. If, if, if you've lost jobs, if you're in debt right now and all you're trying to do is survive, that is fine. So we're in a war this is war so i i mean i'm not of the generation that saw the war but i can see some similarities um to being in a war so first of all we're having to shield there is danger out there so if it was war maybe there would be gone you know bullets and bombs and things flying around but this is invisible we can't even see it so you come outside and you don't know what that person you're walking past is carrying you're in a shop touching things and you don't know who's touched these things you can't see what you're fighting against so we are in a war a lot of people are shielding <clears throat> some people are sick some people are dead loads 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 of people are dead and um, it's war and then when you think about war i mean what are the strategies for surviving a war sometimes all you have to do like we're returned back to basics so uh, going back to abraham maxlow's theory i'm not even <laughs> i'm not gonna go there not not very it's not educational um, it's not an educational piece but it takes us back to the basics so back to just being able to provide the basics of so food shelter you know clothing just basic it take, we, we, some of us are back there and like i said some are unaffected you know some people haven't lost nothing some people are making even more out of it and life is not fair it's what it is and i'll cover that separately in a different um, topic but if you right now are in that place where all you need to do is to just bunker down you know hide hide for now shield make do with what you have that is fine yeah don't let anyone make you feel like you you know you're not you you're not you're not work you're not you know keeping up with the trends or what's happening it is what it is life happens to us um in different ways at different times different things happen to us so your story your journey is not my journey okay so if all you are planning to do is just be able to breathe if that's if that's your dream so i'm thinking of someone who has the long covid so some people have the covid that kind of takes them out for a long time and they still struggle to breathe effectively and then shallow breaths tightness of the chest like that's a valid goal like i just need to be able to breathe 
2021 i'm not even let's say the first half of 2021 if all your if all you intend if all your prayer is just you know i want to be able to breathe that is valid it doesn't invalidate you know the next person who's looking to make millions and their own goals do not invalidate yours okay um so talking about um you know survivor strategies so let's say we're in a war now so first of all is saying staying safe you're in your house you're shielding you know do the right things keep yourself safe um for those who have lost jobs and there are many and i'm talking about professionals you know with degrees with certificates with experience who have lost jobs you know whatever you find to do in this time ain't no shame in the game do it so what i mean is whatever job is available you know your bills don't care the sort of hustle that pay them so your bills don't care whether it was your director's salary that paid them or it was a shop you know you did some gig at the shop you know if your bills are let's say three thousand two thousand pounds or dollars or whatever a month as long as you can meet that somehow your bills are happy you're good till the next month so whatever you find to do in this period please do it without shame without explanation you don't owe anyone anything go out there there might be jobs in the shops maybe i don't know in the hospitals vaccination jobs just go out and do it i know that it's below your level but hey we're in a war just see it as you know war efforts <laughs> you know it's just getting through for now by all means keep applying keep looking out i i find um that in this new year maybe employers are becoming a bit more adventurous a bit more um outgoing with um releasing job opportunities so there's some out there so whilst you apply whilst you're applying for the job um that is at your level please you know take whatever is there just pay your bills right and you know for those who still don't find anything if you're in a country where there the government assistance you know whatever it's called in your country benefits those whatever you know it is what it is accept help you know we we get you know as professionals sometimes we we are very proud of the things that we've achieved and you know we've seen ourselves through so many years on our own and suddenly you're in this spot where um you, you you then find yourself almost like a beggar it makes you feel like a beggar but i'm telling you right now it really doesn't matter you don't owe anyone any explanation whatsoever you just need to get through this this time and then also i'll talk about the messaging and this this might be personal this might just apply to me so there are times that i have to shut shut off you know certain types of messaging and sometimes i shut off the motivational messaging because they're not always appropriate so i, I picture someone who for example you know has lost everything doesn't even have savings and um you know someone's telling them you know you're gonna make millions come and invest in this thing where you don't when you don't even have the investment to start with or someone showing you some flashy car how i got this car how i got this deal how i got this million you know in one month i was a millionaire um if you can handle it that's fine i find that sometimes i can't handle the sort of messaging so i shut them off and just deal with what i have to deal with today that's what i'm trying to say so if it helps shut off some of those messaging some of those flashiness sometimes it's not even social media sometimes it's your friends yeah so i have been in situations where i'm going through my own thing just trying to get on and friends would um not 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 intentionally but a friend might just you know be flashing things you know they call you oh oh actually i just did this and we just did this and now oh, that, that that my husband just got me this new thing without knowing that you are thinking about you know how do i feed my kids tomorrow without knowing and i think i'll talk about that separately um, as a topic on its own but sometimes you've got to shut out some people some friends some social media some messaging 
just to get through this period so again it is valid whatever your coping strategies are to get through 2021 especially the first quarter the first half please do it without feeling like you owe anybody any explanation and lastly like i said you don't owe anyone any explanation just do what would help you go through 2021 in the safest way and hopefully with the vaccine with the, with treatment and vaccine and everything else hopefully you know well the sun will rise again would we'll go up there and do those things again soon you know but we need to get through this period and we need to get through it alive and we must get through it with our minds intact as well so look after yourself in whatever way works for you this message is not for everyone so if you disagree with me that's absolutely fine um this is how i see this is my viewpoint i'm sharing <laughs> so do what suits you and feel free to rejig those plans don't put too much pressure on yourself rejig those plans what's the most important get through day each day day by day and if you are already doing well you're not impacted by covid that's fine keep doing it don't you don't have to feel guilty that um oh people are dying but i'm doing well because i think sometimes we do have the sort of thoughts as well don't feel guilty it is life it is what it is different things happen to us um at different times um so at this point i'd say you know take care of yourselves look after yourselves look after each other thank you very much for watching thank you